Hello Capricorn and welcome to your weekly reading. Now I already have recorded this and for whatever reason the audio didn't record so I'm re-recording it. We're moving from cancer season into Leo season so I got this sense that you were doing something, I got this image of you, you were doing something and it was starting to work, it was starting to get easier and then we pulled this card of the nine of acorns which is this beautiful black panther which is power and perseverance and saying stick with something. Uh, stick with it. It's powerful what it is that you're doing here and you're connecting in with your inner power. So yeah, it was an amazing energy to come through. And we also pulled as an opening message, this message, which says, I now go beyond other people's fears and limitations. It is my mind that creates my experiences. I am an unlimited Oh, sorry, I am unlimited in my own ability to create the good in my life. And there's a lot of good coming in in your life here. We can see all these cards came in, which was like a lot of supportive energies that were coming through. But we also had this, the thing that's shifting and changing, boom, the tower came in. Aries, Scorpio, Mars, Capricorn. So this was like a revelation or a shift or a knowing that came in and suddenly you knew something. Now, for some of you, this is like a sec somebody else's secret or you know something about somebody else, but it's a knowing. It's a knowing of what needs to happen or a knowing of what needs what you need to do. I also got for this that it's like realizing that something wasn't built on the right structure, something wasn't built on the right foundation, something didn't fit anymore. And then we've got the new foundations that are coming through, which are going to be something a lot softer, maybe a different repatterning could be coming through here there's gifts that come through with this activated change which feels really good so the next card we pulled out was this queen of wands which was she's a very discerning character the queen of wands energy you know she knows something or she may know this other person's or your secret but she's very discerning as to how or, or knows the knowledge that's been revealed in the tower it doesn't have to necessarily be a secret but she's very discerning in the way that she's working with people and managing people so this is kind of the character that the person that everybody tells everybody you know tells this person everything about them you know it's the secret keeper the holder of the knowledge so it's like one person might tell them one thing and then the other person which might be the other half of the couple comes and tells them something else and they're the middle person it's like this middle ground energy that you're friends with this couple but you know that this person feels this way that person feels this way so what do you do you've got to manage those energies and that's kind of what we were getting with the queen of wands being very discerning energy and there's a lot of people who had this sense of groups of people coming together or family coming together uh, there's a lot of support coming in for this queen of cups in the center here which is your opposite energy it's, it's cancer energy so the queen of cups is all around somebody that needs some nurturing some loving there's love coming to them with this knight of cups so there, there's a lot of characters in this story here the knight of cups is bringing the queen of cups some love or some healing or whatever it is or nurturing whatever it is this queen of cups needs and it's because the queen of wands has been very discerning and said hey go help that person. So there's been this sense of somebody's getting what they need on this emotional, deep emotional level in terms of feeling safe. It could be around their health as well or something around the home. So, and that's bringing in this sense of stability here with the Queen of Pentacles. You know, this is the person that's by your side, always by your side. And, it, you know, this Queen of Cups has got this lovely support around her in that the, the Queen of Pentacles is there supporting her it's the person that's always there um, when you need them so there is this queen of cups I feel like there's somebody who's got a little bit of fragility or vulnerability or somebody that just needs a little bit of loving and help and support that's coming in here and there's discernment around this and this could be you could be somebody else but there's also the, then this guy turned up the king of swords which is the I understand what's going on all the dynamics I understand uh, that there's all these needs and certain things need to be addressed and looked after and it's really lovely all this support that's coming in here for this but also there's decisions that need to be made so this is kind of the logical brain detaching from all of that and going okay well what sort of care do we need 
what's coming in, what sort of changes and strategies and decisions need to be made. So the king of swords energy is like the organiser, the decision maker, the person that can detach, uh, still unaware of how everybody's feeling but able to make some decisions. So it feels like there's lots of people here but these can be all aspects of yourself that are coming in going, right, well, I, I'm kind of listening to my heart. What do I need? Or maybe there's something I need on the health level. And it's all about the support that this Queen of Cups is getting, whether this is you or somebody else in your life and what sort of decisions and strategies are coming in around it. So once you know something, you're getting this sense of sticking with it and making this activated change that's going to potentially bring this positive shift. We also have the Six of Cups here. So this can be around the home. This and the Queen of Cups can be there. Could be some like positive shifts and changes that could bring some more love and support in around the home, which could be shifting the structure around that. The Six of Cups is about harmony, bringing harmony within relationships as well. So there's those sort of themes that can come through. I just feel like somebody's going to feel really loved and supported this week in your world, whether this is you or somebody around you, which is really nice. The Six of Cups can be the past. So it could be that this is not a new issue. This is something that's come up and needs, and it's kind of like, well, yeah, we have to kind of think of a new plan or a new strategy for this as well. Uh, and, it, you know, it could be something as big as somebody's having a health issue or, or, or it could be something like, you know, I've got a leak in the roof and this needs to be fixed. So it can, you know, it can be varying things that are happening here. Happening here, the Six of Cups is also represents children. So maybe there's something, I mean, they've got the Queen of Cups, the mother, and the Six of Cups, the child energy as well. So there's potentially something that you're nurturing, you're needing to or wanting to nurture in your life that is like your baby. <laughs> that is like, it doesn't have to quite literally be uh, a baby or a child. It can be, you know, like your creative project, your career, your home, it can be your partner, it can be your pet, it can be. Anything that feels like there's something that deeply needs to be nurtured here. So you're going beyond this sense of limitation, other people's fears and limitations and making some decisions that need some even hard decisions that need to be done um, for the greater good for everybody and one, one person in particular. And like I said, whether that's you or not. So then we've got the snake card which came in, which is the energy of uh, receiving the gifts of making this change, this activated change here and taking action when it, you're realising something wasn't working. So that actually, you know, you get receiving the gifts of that and it's the ending of a cycle and start of a new cycle. That's that's what's happening here. But, um, yeah, you're stepping into it's maybe some of you, you have this gift and ability to be like the organiser or the carer or the, you know, the overseer of an issue and to be able to go, right, I, ne I know what needs to be done to nurture this into the place that it needs to be at this moment in time. So the snake energy is that there's gifts being received at this moment in time about ending of cycles, which are coming in. So. There was a lot, a lot of people in this tale, a lot of sense of like this could even be something like, you know, there's somebody celebrating a birthday and all that everybody, it could be an anniversary. I haven't seen you for a long time, friends from the past that are coming in and it's like let's all get together but there needs to be somebody. These are all like, isn't it great to see you? But somebody needs to organise it. <laughs> so it can come in so many different forms, but I just feel like there's this nice energy of coming together and support and somebody coming in and making those kind of organisational decisions that uh, need to be need to come in to, in order to to make this a nice smooth event or smooth occurrence in the life. So that was it. Capricorn, I feel like it's just step into your power, stick with something because it's going to start getting easier and easier once you know something, once this tower moment comes in where you can't not know it. Uh, it's bright as day. There's a sense of all eyes are on you or all eyes are on this issue. And so, but I, I feel like it's, there's a very, very lovely positive energy of support around it. So that's it. And it could just be something nice like a, a coming together of old friends or people. Um, so that's it, Capricorn. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and look forward to seeing you next time.